How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Daytona Tamworth video. Going out in the D-Maxes again to get some much needed practice because holy crap, do I need it. So this wasn't my original plan for a video this weekend. It was actually gonna be a race down at Team Sport because you all know how much I love a carnage field session down there. But I'm afraid at the last minute, the government had other ideas and decided to keep them shut until May 17th. So that put an end to that and here we are. Now, if you remember my last video, the camera angle wasn't the greatest. You were more looking at the steering wheel than you were looking at anything else. So I uh, had a little think, grabbed my old helmet out of the cupboard and luckily I had a GoPro stick on mount knocking about. So I stuck that to the top of it and hopefully that's gonna improve your view. And then also, because of the wind noise situation, I've been out and I've bought this. This is my muff. And it doesn't get any better the more times you say it. But this is gonna go over the camera and the microphone and hopefully reduce that wind noise. It's not gonna completely cut it out, but hopefully it'll be better than it was last time. I just wanna say a big thank you as well to everyone that liked and commented on the previous video and anyone that viewed it. And say hello to all the new subscribers as well. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like as well, drop a comment below, and if you think I've earned it, why not consider subscribing to the channel as well? Anyway, with all that being said, we're here, the sun is shining, it's quite warm, so we're gonna go out there, we're gonna have some fun. Uh, the goal for today, basically, is I just wanna get more comfortable in the car. I'd like to beat my previous time of a 58 dead, but we'll see about that, it should be doable, really. And then also, and I can't promise this, I'm gonna try and keep it out of the tire wall. So I'm gonna go and get signed in, get suited up, and I'll see you out on track. Here we go then, I'm gonna start by saying this, the camera angle now is a million times better than before. It's more like the angle that you're used to from my team sport videos, but that's chin mounted and this is mounted on top of my head. I don't understand what the difference is, there's obviously a difference in the carts, but it's working better now, so we'll carry on with it. And as the video goes on, you're gonna notice the wind noise is massively improved the difference that little piece of foam has made is amazing and for how cheap it is it's definitely money well spent so back to the race the guys that we were up against were a bit of a mixed bunch really a couple of pretty quick guys i think there was one chap that was on my previous video as well and then some that had never done the track before so whether they'd actually even been in a d-max i do not know and also most of them were hiring the race suits and helmets from daytona so they all looked pretty much the same, which made it a bit of a struggle to tell who was who as to if they were gonna be quick, whether they were gonna let me buy or what, but we sort of battled on and it wasn't too bad. This first half or probably more like two thirds of this session felt really good. I was expecting maybe a little bit more grip, but my lines have definitely improved on a few of the corners that I was struggling with, albeit not every lap. Um, but there was a definite improvement there, which was giving me some confidence. And I was definitely feeling more comfortable with applying part throttle through the corners, which helped rotate the car a bit, because you don't tend to do that, or at least I don't, on indoor karting. Although I was feeling more confident, my lap times weren't showing it. But as you'll see from these next couple of laps, every time I felt like I was gonna be on a good lap, I'd either make a mistake of my own doing or 
I'd come up behind a bit of traffic and every time I'd get close I just wasn't sure if I went for a dive at the inside if they'd see me or not so I'd always hang back apart from the exit of turn 3 going into turn 4 that's where I made most of the moves going up the inside there the guys might not have been the same pace as me into that corner but it was good having to take a different line and adjust my braking accordingly so I would definitely say steps were being made in the right direction. start to go downhill for me. A couple of near misses, a small spin into the dirt and then the main point of this video and I'm sure probably the main reason a lot of you are here watching this is my big crash at the end. I'm going to put all these mistakes down to a bit of overconfidence, overdriving and general 
lack of awareness at points. Take this moment for example then, I completely miss that yellow flag and end up backwards in the dirt. I'll hold my hands up, that was 100% my mistake, I wasn't paying full attention. But then the following lap, same corner, similar situation. You can see here that the light is still green and then when you come up over the top of the crest, bam, there is a marshal on the track and a car facing the other way. So I needed to take a bit of avoiding action to miss everyone and also not spin again. But this was just a precursor for what was going to happen about two laps later. Here we go then. I'm just going to let this one play out and then I will break it down a little bit. So enjoy, because it's a good one. You have good days and you have bad days. This was one of those bad days. I'm fine. It wasn't much fun, but I've had a good laugh over it. Got a few bumps and bruises from it, the main bruise being the one to my ego. But I never said I'm actually that good, and you'll know from watching the previous videos, I show the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to my karting. So if that means me absolutely binning it into a tie wall, then so be it. They're mistakes, and hopefully I'll learn from them, and fingers crossed some of you might too. But let's get to breaking this crash down. So coming down the straight like any other time, get to turn three, I turn in slightly too early which has then put me here on this kerb exactly where you don't want to be it's unsettled with the car pushed me to the side and caused the back end to start coming around on me which you can see by the fact i'm turning left to go around a right hander which is obviously not right so by the time i'm turning the wheel in the correct direction for the corner it's too late i'm on the brakes but nothing's happening and at this point, I know it's game over, I'm just a passenger along for the ride. And to be honest with you, looking back on it, I was a passenger from the moment I touched the kerb. But this was the moment for me that I knew it. And this is also how you go from about 40 mile an hour to 0 mile an hour in a split second. And that was the end of the recording. So I'm going to cut back to me in the car after the session has ended and the adrenaline has started to wear off. That was a big crash <laughs> i think it's probably got to be about 40 mile an hour into those tires and that hurt like hell holy shit i've ruined a glove snapped the mount that the gopro was on which is why you ended up going rolling through the dirt it wasn't still attached to me don't worry but yeah i got thrown out of the car hit my head on the tire wall my elbow's killing me my feet ended up under the tire wall at the start of it yeah, that was a good one. My first proper crash, really. It was fun. <laughs> Apart from that, it was it was an all right session. The grip was okay. I ended up going slower by a tenth. I did a 58.1. But every time I seemed to get onto a good lap, I'd come up to traffic, and they were a little bit awkward to get by. I didn't really have the confidence at some points to sort of go for moves because I wasn't sure whether they were going to see me or not. I mean, some of the guys in certain areas, they did get out of my way, which was great. But then there were some areas where maybe I could have gone for a move, maybe I shouldn't have, who knows. But all in all, good session. I know I tried and said to you that I'll try and keep it out of the tyres, but you can't keep all your promises, can you? And hopefully... <laughs> You'll laugh as much as I am about it because it was hilarious. I'm going to ache tomorrow, I know that much, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a like just for that crash alone. Drop a comment down below and yeah, please consider subscribing for the channel. And I will see you in the next one in hopefully a few weeks. <laughs>